All right, I've done 89 custom locos over the years. Well, actually, two of them aren't complete yet. And this one's an unfinished project. I just got to do the, the handrails and the grab irons. And this one here I just started. That's a SDP40. I'm cutting uh, the corner up to get the steps in so the can, crew can walk around. Because I got a deal on this one. This one wasn't the right model that I wanted. I have to customize it. And here's some shells that don't have chassis that I've done. I won't go through the details in each one. But um, like this is the Cotto cab on a male model rail power products. Get that right. And here's some Cotto shells. Okay, and then over here. This whole row right here is complete paint and customizing. This right here is a uh, Atheron GP38 shell that I cut down to a GP28M, both of these. And these are either uh, Kato, Atlas, or Proto 2000s, and there's an Atheron here. This is an Atheron I got for free. So let me go down through these real quick. Look at the numbers. Some of these, even though I did the whole complete paint job on it, some of these numbers already exist in HO scale from other um, companies. Right. Here's a, a B unit. Here's a fantasy local. It doesn't actually exist. I had an SD45 shell. It's a trouble. There's so many neat locos with stripes on the front of them. You don't really appreciate that until you look at the front of them. Especially the Montana rail links. Got that red dot. Okay, now here, this is my son's stuff that I did for him. He helped a little, but he didn't show much interest in it. It's a trouble with kids. They never appreciate the things their parents do for them. Okay, this is the end of the complete paint. And um, the rest of them are altered. This right here is a Kato SD90. I put the uh, carousel decal on it and I changed the number and I weathered it. And here is a Kato SD45. I made an SD45-2 out of it. And here's a, um, a Kato. And I just gave it the recent paint scheme that it had recently. White face with a white stripe. And then here's another thing about Cotto. I like Cotto locomotives, but they're not very prototypical. This here is an original number from Cotto. But this loco did not have a cab headlight. It had a nose headlight. So I stuck the nose headlight on it and blanked out the cab headlight. Now if Kato was smart and they would have used the proper number for that type of loco, one with a cab headlight, they they should have used 6311. This is this is the same model. It was 6047 and I changed the number to actually number that actually had a cab headlight. You see? And then the other thing about Kato, they made their handrails real thin and, and you get the wavy handrails. Like it was in a minor accident. 
it's another thing about Kato I don't care for. And and then um they could never seem to get the LEDs right. You know, the latest SD forty s they got orange headlights. Which is really irritating. And here's I do a lot of cutting down of, of the nose of the locos. This is an atlas. I just cut down the nose. It was a high nose. And this right here was an Atlas Conrail. I turned it into a CN. And this right here is an Athern. X Rio Grande ended up being a lease unit. And BN used it a lot, or BNSF. And then, I'm not the only person. I know there's a lot of people out there that do, do custom locos. I got this one off eBay. It didn't have handrails or grab irons. It was just a shell and a chassis. And I finished it. I'm not quite sure what number to give it or what what name to give this company but it is so nice i couldn't destroy it i mean destroy the the painting on it and paint over it so there are a lot of people know how to do this okay over here to the lease units these three right here are just altered they're, they're originally Cato union pacifics so they're altered they call that the red dog or something or other i like the red white nose and the rest of these here are complete paint jobs. Um, it's a mix of CN and lease units. And the reason why you'll see two of each paint scheme on these lease units is because I was doing one for me and one for my son. And these are uh, Caslo calves on a Cotto Dash 9. And here's another Cotto locomotive that wasn't done prototypical. SD40, Wisconsin Central, 6001, didn't have the canopy on it. So I put the canopy on it, and I put the headlight where it's supposed to be on the nose, and I put the bell up there in front of the cab. And here's a Caslo cab on a Cotto Dash 9, and here's a Caslo. But most of these are Cottos. And if you want to know the history of, of what kind of country you live in, for Americans, basically, um, the U.S. government went after this French company, Alstom, basically threatened to put them in jail, the executive, and basically forced them to sell to an American company. And that's the kind of people we have running our country. We are the evil nation of the 21st century. You guys got to realize that. You need to wake up, stop watching propaganda on the mainstream media. Go down through here real quick on the other side of them. So you can see I painted both sides. Here's this castle. It took me a long time to finish. But it looks nice. There's 89 custom locos. Majority of them are on the layout. My sons are in boxes because I don't run them and he doesn't come here very often. And this is what it looks like when you remove all the custom locos from my engine facilities here. It's like a third of them are actual custom. And the rest of these are all either Athern, Proto 2000, Scato, or Atlas. Okay, thank you.